Do you know Letterbox? I do now. Yes. Yeah, they're the coolest folks. Yeah, you yeah. guys, they're good folks. They save the best for the end. What, like of all time? Is this what you're asking me? I'm 66, so there's a lot of movies I saw when I was 10 that landed on me in like a big, big way that might have been supplanted by the movies that I see when I'm, say, 58, which was eight years ago. So if I was going to say my four, okay, without a doubt, and it remains so 2001 A Space Odyssey, I still watch it a couple of times a year, and I also go to it and just hit the main specific points. But I could walk you through 2001 A Space Odyssey and not stop talking once during the entire film. So I don't know if you want to have that experience if i was going to say what would be like the number two the number two motion picture of all time i would have to say there's a film that came out uh called the best years of our lives that has absolutely no nothing about world war ii in it except it's all about world war ii because it takes place after the war i think that is the best film about the war and the generation who fought it and you could watch that today and outside of the fashions and a, and a bit of the colloquial language, it's talking about who we are right now. I think that's, that's an incredible motion picture. My third favorite movie is A Hard Day's Night by The Beatles, because seeing that in 1964, I was, I was eight, okay? And to see The Beatles be so fresh and hilarious and funny with the greatest music of any generation, that is definitely number three. That is also a movie that I will go and watch probably a couple of times in the course of the year. So let's go through this. 2001, Best Years of Our Lives, A Hard Day's Night. Number four would be uh, Midnight Cowboy because that movie is locked into its era, very much so, but again, it is right about today. It's about what about what drives us and it has uh, two magnificent performances that any young man, if they saw, wanted to play both Joe Buck by way of John Voight, Ratso Rizzo by way of Dustin Hoffman. There's my big four. Jeez, I'm so tired.